Tech Brother with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to load comma separated or comma delimited file to SQL Server table. So the very first thing we have to have a file. So I have a file created with the, some sample data. So it is in, in this in, input folder. So double click on the file and then we can take a look on the data. So the first column, first row has the, the column names with the you know comma separated values and then we have the values itself so we have three records in this uh, file so what we need to do we need to put these records in sql server table you might have created the C a sql server table already if you haven't then what you need to do you need to study your data a little bit let's say ids are integer values you know first name is uh, uh, string values and what could be the maximum length of these uh, uh, values so you create your table according to the data so you study your data and then you go ahead and create it maybe it's a good idea just you know uh, create everything with the little uh, more length let's say work 100 for uh, your first name and uh, work maybe 50 for your last name and then load the data and the, after loading that they do analysis uh, you know on the on the sql server table go and check the max length and uh, what type of values you have or if there is anything uh, you have to make changes in the sql server table definition so let's go to the sql server and create a table so what i have done actually i i have created a table already in this case um i have created a table with id integer i know that the values come in are integer um and i have f name 100 uh, last name 100 and address 100 you know and phone number 10. so right now i took everything 100 but it's not a good practice you know doing it so you you should uh, um, do some analysis on your data before you create this one so maybe uh, we can load the data and come back again and say okay what is the max length of uh, first name in this uh, uh, entire column and then we say okay this is not more than 20 so maybe we can change this one to 25 and the same goes for the last name and address and everything okay so open your bids or ssdt whatever you have according to the version of uh, ssis you are using so go to the file and create a new ssis project if you don't have it if you have already open it so i have it so i'm gonna open it all right so this is my project name tech brothers for ssis the next step uh, what we need to do we need to create a new ssis package so click on um, SSIS packages and then go to new SSIS package. It is going to create a new SSIS package with the default name package one or package two, um, whatever is available. So right now what we are going to do, we are going to change the name of that. So we are going to change in um, load fix with file to SQL table. All right. So you can put underscore whatever is convenient for to read or you can uh, you know um, name the way i have done it so to read the data from the source and load into destination the very first task we what we need is a data flow task because inside the data flow task we can use a source and destination so open it so now bring your source and as we are reading the data from the flat file source we are bringing that one okay double click on that one so we first thing we have to do make a connection here hit new and then browse all the way to the folder where your folder is i have in the input folder and then i have to select the file that i want to load it so i have on a load customer file and it is .txt uh, file okay text qualifier i don't have any if you have single quotes or double quotes around the values you can use uh, you know provided here and the header row delimiter that's a carry return line feed that i know already um i don't want to skip any rows uh, my first uh, row has the column name so i checked this one it is already checked but i, I can uncheck if you don't have it so i'm going to use that one next part is okay you see the columns and you see if uh, you column delimiter is different uh, from comma it already you knew that it is comma it took it but if you have a tab or pi you know pipe or you know any other one like semicolon or colon you can use that one as well uh, go to advanced and here you can change the data type of the columns right now it read everything as a string 50 okay so if we know that id is an integer we can go here and change to the four byte sign integer because id is a positive number it's not going to be negative so we know that okay so first name is 50 fine i can change this one to the 100 you know 
as I have a, a you know data type in the table with the width of uh, 100 so I can change that one also this one I can change 100 you can change whatever is uh, in your table and phone number uh, phone number is uh, I have uh, 10 characters all right so I change this one to here I can preview the data and this coming everything is coming correct so I hit OK retain null values from source as null values in the data flow what does that mean if you are getting some blank values and you want to convert them to the null values you can hit this button and I have done a video on how to convert the null values blank values to the null in a flat file source so you can watch that video as well um, go on columns and see the columns uh, okay so this is external columns output column so these these are the column it is going to re re read and these are the column it is going to produce they are the same name hit ok now we need to bring the destination where we need to load the data in our case we are loading the data to the SQL server table so we can use OLEDB destination and then connect your flat file source to the OLEDB destination double click here now we need to create a connection so hit a new I have already a connection available because I'm using this connection in the this project so it is uh, showing all those connections I'm going to delete it create a new one for you okay hit uh, this drop down <coughs> excuse me and select your SQL server and now select the database name where your table is okay test is successful all right okay so the next step is uh, what where, what you want to do I have a table or a view where I want to load the data so right now I'm just gonna go and table or view and select the table from the drop-down okay so I selected this one and now um, I have to map the columns from the input to the destination so input column is ID you know ID is mapped to ID already but first name F name that's the column name in my table and I don't have a first name in the input so I have complete FIRST name so I'm gonna use that one to map it so same goes for the last name so I map the columns from input to the destination fine okay so now we can run our SSIS package and test if the data is loading so go back to your table test if you have some records in here so we don't have any record here so we can go and execute our SSIS package run in all right so it loaded three records let's go back and check our table if the records are loaded successfully yes the records are loaded successfully um, so th this was a real a simple demo where we want to load uh, the data from a C, uh, flat file to the SQL server table but in real time you might have scenarios where you want to have load multiple files to the same SQL table or you know you want to archive them after that I'm going to make those videos as well so stay tuned and uh, thanks very much for watching this video